Good morning to you all. First of all, I request all of you to please get settled. Be seated so that we can start the function on time here. Those are standing can be seated. Make yourselves comfortable. Well, thank you. A very good morning to all the lovely nurses out there. Good morning. I'm having a great morning looking at all the happy faces. If you're having a great morning just like me, I want to love to good morning from everyone. Good morning. Fantastic. Today is indeed the happiest day and I must say we all nurses must be proud of this. Are you all proud and happy? Are we all come here to celebrate this 25 years? Yes, then it has to be a glorious one. They usually say alumni are the one who are actually concerned and bothered about an organization and you are the charm of the organization who have dedicated yourself to the development of the society and today's day is an honor of all such lovely alumni over here. So on behalf of our Father Miller Institution, a College of Nursing, this is me MC Lavita Menezes, your host for this spectacular event, extending a warm welcome to each and every one of you. I request everyone to put your hands together nice and loud and welcome each and every one present over here as well. Okay, so as we are all set to give a kick start to this lovely celebration, I have a song dedicated to each and every person seated over here. So did you all meet your friends? You got to talk to them? Okay, then this is definitely for you all. But I want you to join and sing it out loud along with me. Can you all do that? Let's do this together. Ready? Okay. Ye do city. Come on, you all have to sing it with me. Hum nahi chodenge Thodenge now one more time, one more time, we'll make it loud because I can't waste much time, right? Are you all ready? Everyone, I want each and everyone's voice to be heard there. Let's begin in three, two, one. Ye ham nahi Wow, that was a lovely one and dedicated to you all. And I'm sure with that, you all are ready and all set for the grand entry because you have a wonderful band of FM corn. The mentors are Mr. Vijay Oliveira and Mr. Ronnie D'Souza. And we have Miss Laya who's been taking the lead for the band there. And I believe our executive committee members and our dignitaries and guests are all set to make a grand entry. So are you all ready? Everyone is ready. So when you say you're ready, are you going to be seated? I don't think so. I want all of you to be standing there and towards the main entry because you all have to clap as lovely as possible and make sure they're going to get the warmest welcome. So here we go. So you all can start clapping when I tell you all to clap.
and a grandest welcome as far as possible. Because the band is all set to perform when we have a lovely band of a FM call, such talented gems of your institution. Definitely, they need a small performance as well. So over to you, band.
the lovely lovely. band for performing for us and making sure the entry is going to be a grand one there. Special thanks to their mentor, Mr. Vijay Oliveira, Mr. Ronnie D'Souza and band leader, Miss Laya. Once again, thank you. I think they deserve a thunderous applause from all of us for the lovely performance there. Having said that, today's celebration is going to be from the alumni directly to the alumni. And that's the reason we have our alumni all set with the prayer dance there. So without any further delay, we are going with the next performance. I also request our band members to please get settled and be seated. सृष्टि करता सृष्टि रक्षका सृष्टि to our eyes to see some of my teachers as well, my lecturers as well perform this dance and they did a great job there. Thank you so much for the lovely performance. We at Father Miller's are proud of one thing. We as students were not been just trained only to concentrate on academics. We were trained to as a holistic approach to be good in everything and we are indeed proud to be a part of this institution. Having said that, we all do believe in one thing. Bible is the answer to all our question. It is right direction or it is the right way towards our next step. And that's the reason 
as we're going to start this wonderful ceremony, a wonderful event, we're going to read the Bible and post that, we're going to have a reflection over the reading as well. And for that, without any delay, I request Sister Anjana Rose to please proceed. I request all of you to rise as we're going to do the Bible reading followed by a, a reflection there. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 14 to 16. You are like light for the whole world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a bowl. Instead, he puts it on the lampstand, where it gives light for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine before people, so that they will see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Light is a symbol of selfless giving. It is a symbol of other centeredness. It is also a symbol of knowledge and understanding. In this passage of the Gospel, Jesus reminds each one of us that our life ought to be a generous giving in the service of others. That is what the Father Muller College and School of Nursing has been for the past 65 years. Every student passing through its portal is trained to give of oneself, to give flavor to the lives of others, especially with the motto, Heal and Comfort. Thus be a light that brightens the lives of others by caring for the sick and suffering or imparting knowledge through nursing education. We raise our hearts in gratitude to God for His bountiful blessings on our alma mater, and all our alumni who spread all over the world, bringing Christ's light to others through their lives. Amen. Well, thank you so much, sister, for invoking God's blessing with that beautiful message and Bible reading. I request all of you to get settled. The stage indeed looks perfect. The stage indeed looks good but it looks incomplete because we have our esteemed guests and dignitaries who are going to take that empty space over there. So without any delay, I request our president of Alumni Association, we have with us Dr. Devina Rodriguez, to please escort our dignitaries onto the dais there. We have with us director of Father Miller Charitable Institutions, Father Richard Aloysius Quello, and the chief guest of this uh, gathering, we have Reverend Sister Loretta Cora, we have our principal of FMCon, Reverend Sister Jacinta de Souza, President of Alumni Association, Dr. Devina E. Rodriguez, Alumni Association Secretary, Reverend Sister Deepa Peter, and also Vice President of our Alumni Association, Dr. Jennifer de Souza. I request our President Ma'am to escort all the dignitaries, and you all can clap as they're coming forward and occupy their places on the dais. any guest we give it to Dr. Devina Rodriguez. So Devina ma'am over to you. Good morning dignitaries on and off the days, teachers, guests, well-wishers, colleagues, alumni and dear students. With a heart full of joy and gratitude to today shows that we all have time for what is cherished, loved, valued, and held dear to our hearts. Looking back, we can thank God the Almighty for bringing us this far. Let us take time to be those young adolescents that each one of us was at the entry to this institution as a student. Let us remember the times we studied together, played together, and had times of excellent companionship. As we go back to those nostalgic memories, I would like to appreciate the efforts and hard work carried out by Professor Annama Tiyu and Reverend Sister Loredana Kora in initiating this association in 1997. Their efforts are the reason for us to come together. At this outset, I welcome the director, 
Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Cuvello, his keen interest to this association's development made us to plan this event meticulously. Thank you, Father, and I request our principal, Reverend Sister Jacinta de Souza, to offer a floral welcome to the director. Thank you, Father. I'm super excited to greet the founder of Alumni Association, who has served 28 years in Father Muller, holding various positions from the tutor to the principal post. That indicates her commitment to this institution. Yes, we are talking about Reverend Sister Lordana Kora. In the 80s, she has mountain of zeal to discover life's truth. Believe me, none of us can match her energy. I bow my head with respect, dear teacher and a founder of our association. Thank you for consenting to be the chief guest of today's program. I request Ms. Priscilla De Silva, co-convener scientific committee to greet Sister Lordana with a bouquet. What a great feeling for us to have you as a chief guest, dear sister. We are eagerly waiting to hear about your experience in initiating the Alumni Association. In the initial stage, when the association had to move forward with baby steps, Sister Jacinta de Souza voluntarily took up the responsibility as president of this association. However, her work did not stop there. Still, she continued contributing to this association as a vice president and then the editor of the Nightingale's Bulletin. I want to note that none of us served as executive members for continuous 15 years she did, which speaks volumes about her determination to advance our alumni association. Her lion's share goes towards the mobility and stability of the association. Dear Charter President and the Principal of Father Muller School and College of Nursing, we welcome you to this celebration. May I call upon Miss Sonia Sequeira to welcome Sister with a bouquet. A cheerful welcome to Father Joseph Martis, parish priest of the Rebel, who consented to raise a toast. I request Ms. Rena Frank to welcome Father with a bouquet. We acknowledge the presence of former principals of School of Nursing, Reverend Sister Andros, Sister Nancy Matthias, I request our executive committee members to step forward and greet the former principals with the flower. Professor, Miss Lolita de Souza to Sister Andrews. Mrs. Charlotte to Sister Nancy Matthias. I want to extend a warm welcome to the administrators Assistant Administrators, Dean, CNO, Spiritual Gurus, License Officer, MC. A hearty welcome to the compare Miss Lavita Minages, Alumni Batch 2011-2013 PCBSC. It's our pleasure to have you here. We welcome media, logistic team, sound, music. We also would Love to recognize the presence of Chief Librarian. You, you all share a significant role in today's celebration. Last but not the least, I welcome Mr. Vijay Olivara and the college band, teachers, students for attending today's program. Dear teachers and students, a sincere hearty welcome to you all. <laughs> Dear friends, what seemed like a long journey now seems like a blink of an eye, a dream, a page turned over with this, 
a thought came to my mind how many of us will make it to the golden jubilee that reunion might happen with the stars in the galaxies but this moment is ours let's enjoy it when we think deep down some of us will never meet again so with a thankful heart and joyous tears i welcome each one of you and wish you a wonderful silver jubilee celebration love you all may all of us dream big and create a platform for others to succeed with this reciting rabia basri's thoughts here i go let's walk hand in hand let's walk hand in hand by abstaining from evil and fighting peril let's walk hand in hand with divine principles clinging to the pinnacle dear alma mater we owe you everything we will walk hand in hand thank you have a great celebration i must say that dr devina rodriguez had done complete justice to the task assigned to her and she has made sure each and every person gets that warmest welcome i think she does deserve a welcome from us as well can you clap for her great job thank you so much even a single lamp dispels the deepest darkness if you light a lamp for someone it will also brighten your path and we do believe that's the reason light lighting the lamp has been inculcated as a part of our ceremony there and now i request our dignitaries on the dais to please do come forward and light the lamp and fill this graceful event with the positive vibes all the dignitaries can please do come forward as each and every dignitary on stage is going to light the lamp we request you to please st stand as well as clap as loudly as possible विषया सतोमा सद्गमया तमसोमा ज्योतिर्गमय एंड विद दिस लाइट ओवर हियर लेट दिस लाइट बी इन ऑल योर हार्ट्स ओवर देयर एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर स्टैंडिंग एंड ऑनरिंग देम एज़ वेल वेल अ ट्रू लीडर इज द वन हु टेक्स हिज फ्लॉक्स फॉरवर्ड प्रोवाइड्स ट्रू लीडरशिप एंड डायरेक्शन एंड वंडरफुल कोऑर्डिनेशन एंड वी हैव सच अ लवली पर्सन हु इज अ प्रिंसिपल एंड वी आर इंडीड प्राउड of her being our leader and a guide so we have with this reverend sister jacinta de souza and who's she is going to come forward and deliver her message there so over to you sister good morning to all of you gathered here respected dignitaries on days of days my students faculty members present students especially those who did the band and everyone present here as i stand here i am feeling nostalgic with the memory of the first gathering of alumni maybe about 10 to 15 members in one of the classroom which is now the posh administrative block in near director's office under the leadership of sister loredana the then vice principal of the college i was given the responsibility as president and today after 25 years i am still at father mola college of nursing i feel honored to be a part of this institution and this great beautiful celebration 
First of all, I would like to congratulate the association. Now, Dr. Divina Rodriguez as its president with her vibrant and committed office bearers have worked tirelessly to, for their tenure to uplift the face of alumni and to make it shining. Lot of activities, especially the outreach social services have been conducted. There is creativity and new thinking. Students are given scholarships from the alumni and today we are going to inaugurate the SEEDS grant for the research for alumni. We can still do better. Our association can still do better. So many of our alumni all over the world contact us only in their need, especially to fill the forms for better jobs. There must be a strategy to see that all of them visit their alma mater at least once in two to three years or whenever they come down from abroad for their vacation to their native places, visit Father Muller's, see for its growth, enjoy the nostalgic feeling of when they were students and contribute to alumni association financially so that many more good things could be carried on. I leave it to the members of the executive committee to deliberate on the same. I wish each one of you all best, especially those who have come from far. My teachers being present here and, and everyone, it is a grace to be in Father Mullahs. It is a blessing to be a blessing in Father Mullahs. I wish all the best and pray for God's blessings on everyone, all alumni, all over the world. Thanks, Kelor, and let us have a beautiful day. God bless us all. Thank you so much, Principal Sister Jacinta de Souza, for that lovely message. And she has already spoken about our alma mater. He is the one with whom we are indebted to, and we definitely thank him for all the wonderful contributions that he has done towards FM Con and FM uh, charitable institutions there. And that's the reason we have beautiful petals waiting as a floral tribute to him. So now I request our dignitaries to please do come forward. And I request each and every person, definitely we won't be able to give you petals in your hand, but you all can clap as well simultaneously. I request all of you to be standing there. Can we have each and every person standing? As a tribute to our alma mater there, Reverend Father Augustus Muller. Thank you one minute you can be standing there for a group picture at the same time we need to give our tribute as well to give our tribute we're going to start from low you can start clapping slowly when i reach the greatest high your claps also need to be to the greatest high there can you all do that as a tribute there let's start now you can start with the slow claps slow claps increase the intensity slowly more even more to the greatest wonderful well, thank you so much for the great tribute to our Reverend Father Augustus Muller there. You all can be on the stage. I request all of you to please get settled and seated. Indeed, a way to thank someone who's, someone who's very special is done by a form of felicitation. And today we have our charter members with us and we would definitely love to felicitate them for being a part of our Silver Jubilee celebrations. 
First and foremost, if you have heard the welcome address and the speech made by our president as well as our principal, there was a clear mention of one person who is the chief guest and there is a sole reason why she has been requested to be the chief guest. She was the one who started this lovely alumni association and she deserves a felicitation when we say it's a 25 year silver jubilee celebration. It's none other than sister Lorna Janakora. I request you to please come forward and be seated, occupy your place. At the same time, request Sister Deepa Peter, who's the secretary of Alumni Association, to introduce this lovely sister who is so cheerful, so graceful to the gathering there. A good morning to all. Our hearts are filled with joyfulness. We praise you, Lord, with gratefulness with immense joy and deep sentiments of gratitude, we recall the marvelous deeds the Lord has done for each one of us and to our alma mater. It's a proud moment for us as we celebrate the silver jubilee of our alumni association. At this moment, we have to thank especially the person who was instrumental in starting this association and it is none other than our dear sister Lordana Kora. Being the first batch of BS Nursing and Alumni, I really honored and privileged to introduce an eminent and efficient nursing leader and my teacher and guide, Sister Lordana Kora. She belonged to the Congregation of Sisters of Charity of Saints Bartholomew Capitanio and Vincenza Gerosa. She did her GNM from IHM Hospital Bernanganam and secured third rank. She was sent for PCBSC Nursing to Institute of Nursing Education in 1976 and back first rank in the Bombay University and awarded President Silver Medal from Countess Defense Funds of Women's BSc, BSc. Seeing her intellectual capacity and passion for teaching, she was sent to do Masters in Nursing at SNDT Bombay in 1990 and secured a, a grade. Sister Lordana has a very vast teaching experience of 36 years of which 28 years of her youthful energy was spent at Father Mullis, holding various positions, starting from a tutor, vice principal, and principal. She has also served as principal at Lourdes College of Nursing, Cochin, for three years, and nursing director at St. Anne's College of Nursing, Mulki, for four years. Other than this, she held various other responsible and prestigious positions as member of NAC peer team, member of the faculty of nursing, member of academic council, chairperson of BOS, and member of LIC at Tajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Bangalore. She was awarded Australian International Educational Foundation Fellowship in 1997 and visited Australia for orientation to midwifery practice in Australia and research programs. To her credit, she has organized many national and state nursing conferences and biblio program is worth mentioning. She has authored a book titled Spiritual Aspects of Patient Care and published articles on various topics in the national and international journals. She was a resource person and chief guest for various seminars, conferences and research guide for so many students. During her tenure as a principal, she has started the college band and Jesus Youth Movement and it still continues to function effectively, bringing more youth to God. Dear sister, it is your hard work, motivation, dedication, commitment brought glory to the institution. You are a great visionary and optimistic in your outlook, exemplary teacher, able administrator, 
inspiring educator, good counselor, friendly and jovial, a mother and a sister. I can go on enumerating her qualities and achievements. Above all her academic achievements, she was a person who understood the needs of each person, taught us life lessons to live a value-oriented life and enabled us to experience God. We remember your education classes saying to us, education is the modification of behavior. Heart of education is the education of the heart. You have inculcated in the students that caring is the essence of nursing. We alway, I always remember the three H which you often spoke of to be effective nurses, that is the heart, head and the hands. We are very proud of you, sister, for training us and inculcating in us the true spirit of nursing which enabled us to be more effective in our nursing field. You are a role model for us to follow. Thank you, sister, for, initiat for your initiative in starting this alumni association so that we can keep connected to our alma mater. May God keep you in good health and continue to bless you. A million thanks, sister. I now request our director to felicitate Sister Lordana with a shawl, Sister Jacinda with a garland, Mrs. Lavina Nasrat with a tri fruit basket, and Sister Danya Devasya with a gift. Well, thank you so much, Sister Deepa Peter, for introducing our chief guest and also the founder of our alumni association. And I must say, Sister Deepa Peter was one of the best students I can tell you now because she remembers all the values and she remembers all the teachings of uh, our sister Loredana Kora there. Well, thank you for that. And congratulations once again, sister, on receiving the felicita felicitation there. Well... We have a charter president seated right over here, but I also do believe that we have a former charter president as well. Well, indeed, if it was left to me, I would have felicitated each and every president over here. But on behalf of you all, our present president, our charter president will be getting this felicitation, receiving this felicitation now. So do consider this as a felicitation to you as well. So I request Sister Jacinta de Souza, please do come forward and occupy your chair there. And to introduce our Charter President, I request Sonia Sequeira to please do come forward. Good morning to all. I'm pleased to introduce Reverend Sister Jacinta D'Souza to the August Gathering. Reverend Sister was born on 5th November 1962 to late Mr. Raymond and late Mrs. Lucy D'Souza who belonged to the Sacred Heart Church, Badantyar Parish. Among the seven children, Reverend Sister is the eldest in the family and has three brothers and three sisters. Born in a God-fearing Catholic family, Sister Jacinta was a blessed child chosen by God as his instrument for a special mission. Thy will be done, O Lord, 
This was the answer of Sister Jacintha for her religious calling who joined the Sisters of Charity in 1982. Yet, something more was waiting on her way. The opportunity to serve the humanity was the greatest undertaking and she joined BSc Nursing in 1989 at Government College of Nursing, Bangalore, securing first rank under Bangalore University, followed by MSc Nursing in 1994 under Mangalore University. Her smart and diligent performance further gave her an opportunity to pursue MPhil in nursing at Mahe Deemed University, securing first rank at the university level. She has an extensive range of work experience in her career. In fact, the most fruitful phase of her life was spent in providing service at Father Muller College of Nursing for around 27 years. Sister Jacintha initially started her career as a clinical instructor, thereafter promoted into various cadres and finally as the principal of Father Muller College of Nursing in 2003 to 2011 and now again continuing as principal from 2017. She has also served as principal at St. Anne's College of Nursing and Athena College of Nursing for a short duration. This year, she received the National Teachers Award for Excellence in Teaching and for being the best principal of the year, presented by the National Press Council of India and the News Press Association of Karnataka. Sister Jacintha has several publications to her credit. She has authored two books in nursing. She is the editor, editorial team member, and the reviewer for competitive books and journals. Presented several papers in various forums, chaired the sessions at conference and workshop, and is undoubtedly a great orator. Her administrative skills and the enormous potentiality brought her influential and prestigious recognition at the university, state, and the national level as the BOS member in various universities, inspection committee member for the INC, UGC, and NAC. She is the advisory panel member of nursing at Walters and Kluwer, and also the vice president of Sochni. Apart from her academic achievement, I would like to mention you that Sister Jacintha is an inspiration to many who have known her. She was a great warrior who never gave up when she was affected with COVID in 2020. Hospitalized for two months and thereafter on treatment for the next four months, Sister Jacintha won this battle of life victoriously. She rightly says this was the major turning point in her life. This particular incident created a mark in the history of her life which has brought an impulse in many to fight against situations that waver our confidence and to march forward bravely. Sister Jacintha, being an alumna of FMCon, has been the brand ambassador and has contributed to the Alumni Association in its formative stage. She has served this association as the charter president from 1997 to 2002. The idea of putting a foundation for the association is inspiring. What once planted as a sapling is now well grown into a larger tree. In this large span of 25 years, the association has extremely developed into a registered society. The credit and appreciation goes to Sister Jacintha for her leadership and for her band of executive members who have toiled hard to build this association, which is now working for the betterment of the college functioning, academic and research activities, and also for the social and human cause. So ladies and gentlemen, let us put our hands together to congratulate Reverend Sister Jacintha on this day as we are honoring her for being the charter president of the association. Her contribution to the alma mater and the association is tremendous. 
I request the dignitaries on the dais to honor Reverend Sister Jacinta D'Souza. May I request our director to facilitate Reverend Sister with a shawl, Dr. Divina Rodriguez with a garland, dry fruit basket by Sister Deepa Peter and a gift by Dr. Jennifer D'Souza. As a former, as our charter president, as Sister Jacinta D'Souza has been receiving the felicitation and request the claps have to be louder. It can't be lower. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Sonia Sequeira. And we wish Sister Jacinta D'Souza all the very best and indeed a good health. May she continue brightening the future of many more students. When you say it's a special celebration occasion, Chief Kiss somewhere is front and center as a myriad of ceremonial activities. And we are indeed blessed that our founder of our alumni association is with us and she's still cheerful, still graceful, and as she's come forward to deliver her message, so can we all give her please a standing ovation, not just being seated. Can you all stand for her? So we have completed our 25 glorious years, so that means that you need to give at least 25 claps. So we'll all start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 23, 24, and 25. Now, this was a tribute to you, sister, for starting this lovely alumni association and for getting all of us together. Thank you so much. You all can be seated there. So, let's get ready for the wonderful message from our founder there. <laughs> Dignitaries on the days, Father Richard Coelho, Sister Jacinta de Zusa, Dr. Divina Roy Rodriguez, Dr. Jennifer, Sister Deepa Peter, and all those who are on off the days, who are the esteemed alumni of both GNM and BSC Nursing. Today, when we address College of Nursing, we don't consider it a school or college. It is just one entity, College of Nursing, which in all BSc GNM as one, because GNM programs were was uh, upgraded many years back. I remember, I don't remember the year when that was upgraded to a collegiate program. We also said a College of Nursing will be hereafter. College, school of nursing word goes out of dictionary of animals. As a college, it flourished. My much esteemed alumni who have come over here, as well as all those who could not come here, including all who belonged once to Father Muller's school or college at that time, I can see a galaxy of beautiful, smiling faces of principals, vice principals, professors, nursing superintendents of the past and the present. My superiors in the past and right now, Sister Lucy Visosa, my present superior, I am too poor to be invited as the chief guest in this august gathering, thanks to the Alumni Association. 
words are simply inadequate to express my joy and delight to see in front of me the representatives of my beloved alumni of Fathamullah's College of Nursing, 1987 till date. Although in 2003, I left the college. Happy reminiscences surge out of my soul as I look at the tremendous growth it and growth and development which the college has already secured reaching the zenith of its excellence by obtaining the NAC grade A. That's hats off to the principal, Sister Jacinda D'Souza, Vice Principal and the team of veteran staff members who worked hand in hand under the guidance of the NAC team, of course, with expert guidance from the director, Reverend Father Richard Coelho, and the managing team. Friends, let us raise our hands and give a warm applause to every one of them. <laughs> Alumni, my friends, you are all geared to celebrate the Silver Jubilee of your association. Kudos to Dr. Divina Rodriguez, the President Alumni Association, and the past presidents, and the past and present executive committee members, especially the secretaries, Sister Deepa Peter and others, all of whom have kept no stones unturned for its steady progress and now in venturing on a Silver Jubilee magazine too. Dear friends, something which made me happy and blissful, I would say, always to the core of my heart about FMCON, to hear from most of you who had some personal contacts with me, either by mail or by call or in person, expressed to me that it was the spirit of nursing with its associated core values of empathy and compassionate care, as well as the skills you have obtained from Father Mullahs in that is that which made you what you are today. Some of you even shared that you have achieved a personal contact with Jesus Christ from Father Mullah's first time. Otherwise, Jesus and God was just abstract entities. Thanks to the charismatic renewal and the weekly prayer meetings which even now continued so well and having many more activities than what we started. All under the guidance of the students, they themselves. That's what made, made me happiest than what I have heard about the skills and of the nursing. The happiest because I know, I know that you also know, it is the God experience which sustains all of us in our ups and downs of daily life. Don't you agree with me that the God experience gives me keeps you alive. You don't get it disappointed, depressed, because the Lord is your shepherd. Some share that they have managed to instill in their kids to the same spirit as Miss Ophelia de Sousa 
now in melbourne australia shared with me in person on her visit two weeks back that her two kids boy and girl to pursuing nursing profession with the same spirit which she has inculcated in them what else could can make me proud of i'm sure that the college continues to inculcate the motto of service and the care aspect on preserving this original charism or the spirit of nursing the caring aspect among the students as stressed by jean watson the great nursing leader as well as they are well equipped today to face the present day challenges in their professional career today i see today that just the name of father mullers procures today a seat to most of the candidates applying to the institutions in india and abroad just father mullers you came from father mullers that was enough for them i'm very proud of several alumni present here who have taken up the post of principals and the nursing managers of the institutes in the city of mangalore right now not only mangalore as well as other southern states of kerala tamil nadu andhra pradesh maharashtra etc many sisters religious sisters are heading institutions in maharashtra i know personally have kept up this aspect of care with a divine touch by the spiritual aspect of nursing care which is not only appreciated but encouraged by christian institution no but not christian institution give them permission to start whatever the principals want to start some of you managed to secure even a post among the top tna executive team hats off to all of you dear leaders of nursing today as well as the staff nurses working at the bedside it is they who bring the name to the institution may each one of you succeed to take fmcon to the state of a nursing university as we see abroad in australia uk america wishing you good luck in your creative initiatives in the alumni association and in the healthcare field of today may fmcon and the institution each one of you are heading flourish with a divine blessing is my prayer today as i can do to my words thank you so the all the nurses that was our chief guest there sister loredana cora so let me ask you all it's been 25 years since uh, sister started this association of alumni there how many of you have known her for the past 25 years or even before that can you raise your hand okay now i haven't met her I haven't met her for that long time I haven't known her but do you agree she still exhibits that similar aura and positive vibes does she have that same energy god bless her with many more years of good health then and thank you thank you so much sister for all the lovely efforts and when we say as 25 glorious years this 25 glorious year celebration would be incomplete without the release of a nightingale bulletin and we have a silver jubilee bulletin which is all set to be released and for this uh, i request our dignitaries to please do come forward along with that i also request our editor mrs charlotte de souza to please do come forward and join them mrs charlotte de souza is requested to come forward 
Mrs. Charlotte D'Souza, who's the editor, is of batch 1998-2001 GNM, PBBAC in nursing 2004-2006, to currently working associate professor of NITE Usha Institute of Nursing Sciences, who's been the editor of Nightingale since the year 2018. And we are indeed grateful and thankful to her for all her tremendous and lovely efforts. Now I request our director, Father Richard Aloysius Coelho, along with the chief guests and all the dignitaries to do the honours. So that's our Nightingale Silver Jubilee Bullet Chain celebrating 25 glorious years of starting this lovely alumni association of Afana Miller College of Nursing. Congratulations to all the nurses present over here. Well, thank you so much. You all will get a copy of this later. Thank you for doing the honors and releasing the Bullet Chain. Initially, we had mentioned about one wonderful initiative that has been taken as a part of this 25 years of Silver Jubilee celebration. And that's none other than release of seed grants. And we believe that our nurses are very much into research. And for this good cause, we would like to contribute to alumni and who's been actually getting the privilege will be announced by Miss Priscilla De Silva. I request you to please do come forward. And I'm sure all are eagerly waiting to know who are those who are actually getting this privilege. Good afternoon, everyone. As we know, research is a need of the hour in the present healthcare profession. Striving to find funding agency and getting a grant is a laborious process. Here we have Alumni Association of Fatimala College of Nursing giving our young FMCon alumni researchers an opportunity to excel in their research by declaring a research seed grant for the very first time in the year 2022. As per the criteria, two research grants will be given this year. One who is working within the parent institution and another who is working in other institutions. I am happy to announce the names of alumni who are shortlisted by our evaluators. Seed grant within the institution goes to Mr. Santo Shem, presently pursuing his Master's in Medical Surgical Nursing Speciality at Father Muller College of Nursing, Mangalore, for the study entitled Effects of Repositioning of Patients Admitted in Intensive Care Units on Hemodynamic Parameters at Tertiary Care Hospital, Mangaluru. Mr. Santosh is an alumna of Post Basic B.Sc. Nursing 2017-2019 to Badge. May I now request Ms. Sonia Sequeira, Treasurer of Alumni Association FMCon, to come forward and hand over the seed grant check to Mr. Santosh. I request Mr. Santosh to come forward and receive the seed grant check. Thank you, Madam, and congratulations, Mr. Santosh. Seed grant outside the institution goes to Ms. Seema S. Chavan, presently working as an associate professor at Ames Gorakhpur for the study entitled Identification of Challenges and Effectiveness of Psychosocial Interventions on Quality of Life Among Mothers of Children with Cancer in a Selected Hospital, a Mixed Method Research. Ms. Seema S. Chavan is an alumna of MSc Nursing 2007-2009 to batch. May I now request Rev. Sister Deepa Peter, Secretary of Alumni Association FMCon, to come forward and hand over the seed grant. I request Sister Jensi Amli to come forward and receive the seed grant check on behalf of Ms. Seema S. Chavan.
thank you sister and congratulations madam seema total sanctioned amount is rupees 20000 each and today 50% of the total amount we have given as first installment thank you and wishing all the best to our researchers well thank you so much miss priscilla de silva and congratulations well deserved there well already mentioned there we had our president amongst us she has received a felicitation well this 25 years would be nothing and we wouldn't have been reached here if there was no contribution from other presidents as well so when we say 25 years how can we not felicitate them so now i request first and foremost dr jacinta vegas to please to come forward and to felicitate her i request sister danya devasia who is also the convener of scientific committee to hand over a bouquet and a gift as a token of love and as a token of gratitude Dr Jacinta Vegas has been served as a president year 2002 to 2007 congratulations and thank you once again i now request a next former president there professor victoria dalmeda if she's here i request her to please do come forward and to first state her i request Mrs Sunita Lobo who is the convener program committee to please to come forward So Professor Victoria Dalmeda has served as president for the year 2007 to 2012 Well thank you so much to you as well professor for the lovely contributions And last but not the least I request our president there Ms Daryl Aranna to please to come forward and receive a felicitation from Sister Anjana Rose, who is the convener, correspondence committee, and she has been given her service for the year 2013 to 2017. Well, thank you so much, Miss Daryl Arena. And now, the moment we all had been waiting for. This is beautiful award which you have seen, which is all said right from the beginning, and this beauty has made his own charm and set everything apart over here. You will take a closer look at this award. You must be wondering, right? Who's gonna receive this glorious award and such a beautiful award? So this is our eminent alumni award. I'm sure each and every alumni were here had their eyes laid off to see who's going to get this. Do you want to know who's going to get this award? Do you think you all deserve? Yes, we all do deserve this award, but unfortunately there's only one standing over there and one person is going to get it. And to do this big announcement, I request Dr. Jennifer De Souza to please do come forward. Now all eyes are going to be on Dr. Jennifer De Souza as she's going to call up the name there. As a mark of the Silver Jubilee year, we have initiated the Eminent Alumni Award. The award will be given to one deserving alumni. This award consists of a certificate, a trophy, and a cash prize of rupees twenty-five thousand. Henceforth. This award will be continued once in every 5 years considering the achievement of alumni for those past 5 years. Now it's the time to announce this eminent alumni award. I guess we have many hearts beating faster. Relax Mullerians. I am sure you have created a mark an impact wherever you are placed. be it in india or abroad so don't worry about the award the award is already inside you all the entries we got were scrutinized by a bunch of panel members of fmci and finally one overweighed the other in merit and achievement so here goes i am happy to announce that the alumni Eminent Alumni Award 2022 goes to any guesses
further guest it right it's dr judith angelita nonorna dr judith completed her bsc from father muller college of nursing in the year 1992 she then did her msc from 1994 to 96 and mphil from 97 to 1999 from manipal college of nursing she obtained her doctorate in nursing from manipal university in the year april 2007 dr judith has over 30 years of experience in teaching and research at present she holds the position of dean manipal college of nursing besides guiding more than 47 pgs and doctoral theses she has 68 publications in indexed national and international journals and has presented papers in more than 25 international conferences organized in india and abroad dr judith has worked in collaborative research projects funded by ministry of human resource development government of india icmr international collaborative research projects with the university of lakester uk dr judith is an expert at systematic reviews and meta analysis she is a master trainer for nursing and midwifery education at inc government of india trainer and coordinator for fhi 360 project from the university of minnesota to train faculty from kabul university of health sciences dr judith is a bs member member at rajiv gandhi university of health sciences nitte deemed to be university and yenapaya deemed to be university the list of accomplishments of dr judith is so vast that i am forced to put a full stop here i now call upon dr judith angelita norona to the dais to receive this eminent alumni award i request sister lordana to present a trophy to dr judith the director father richard coyello to hand over the certificate of appreciation the principal sister jessinta to present dr judith with a bouquet and the president of the alumni association dr devina to present the check and we are going to do it the other way first we'll have it which will be handed over by director there and next we'll have a check which will be given by dr devina rodriguez sir and a bouquet by sister jacinta and now we really know why she outweighs most of us after listening to her achievements there and that was indeed a tough decision for a fm con uh committee members to decide as who's the right person to receive it, this award there now it's time for the trophy one second we had such a beautiful place which was set for the trophy here so i request Lorena to please do come for both of you over here join at this right place where the trophy is been placed and hand over this glorious trophy which is going to be handed to her once in 5 years to mark this glorious 25 years there i think a hands up full someone should can collect all this from her please do hold it and now it's time to hand over this beautiful trophy now can we all stand and clap and congratulate her on receiving this eminent award well deserved i request sister lorena to please hand it over to her well an award which every alumni had eyes on an award which we everyone must deserve and work hard to get in the coming years as well so congratulations well thank you so much sister lorena thank you dignitaries and once again hearty congratulations to you dr judith we are proud of you and we wish you many more accomplishments in the years to come thank you 
Well, thank you so much. I think we have few more things left before we move on to the celebration and entertainment part. And when we have a director, Father Richard Queller with us, I think this event is going to be incomplete without his presidential address there. So I request Father Richard to please do come forward and address the gathering. Sister Loredana Kora, the chief guest of today, all the dignitaries on the days, and I must mention Reverend Dr. Joseph Martis, my batchmate. We joined the seminary on the same day, 1977, June 30th, and ordained on the same day and year, 3rd May, 1988. Father Joseph, when he joined, he came from English medium school. I was a Kannada medium boy. So when he was speaking English, uh, looking like that up, he was tall then. We used to speak with broken Kannada and English. We do not know when mosquito comes and bites, how to tell in English. So mosquito, the word I knew, mosquito come, bite, go. Like that only. <laughs> Father has come today uh, to address or to raise toast for this Silver Jubilee today. Then also I see for the Paul de Souza, the magician you are waiting for. I was in his parish and also I remember I had the privilege to give him first communion those days and today he is a Priest here, come to perform magic. Dear all faculty of our college and most dear loving, lovely faces of our Padamulla College of Nursing, our alumni, students, or staff, those days students. Now, it gives me great joy. I would like to quote, Every great achievement is the result of either great risk or great sacrifice or dedicated hard work. There are three words. The great achievement today is that we are celebrating the Silver Jubilee of our College of Nursing Alumni Association. So it is a great achievement and it is a privilege and opportunity for us to celebrate and rejoice on this day. Secondly, this great achievement is a great risk taken that, that time. And those who have taken the risk, they are here today on this stage. Sister Loradana Kora and Sister Jashinta de Souza, uh, principal of the College of Nursing. It is not easy to take a risk. It takes courage. It takes a lot of time. And with that, those days, sister has taken this risk of establishing the Alumni Association of the College of Nursing and today, the risk has turned into an achievement. And I congratulate both Sister Loredana and Sister Jashinta for, their, for the risk that they had taken on that day. And today, it is an achievement. Congratulations, Sister. It is also the great sacrifice of all our faculty. Those who were earlier in our college, maybe some of them retired, the principals who laid the foundation for this college. Madam Tagarajan, I was there that time, the first batch. Uh, I remember Sister Deepa, that time name was something different, no? Uh, Bridget. Yeah. And uh, after that, Madam Gladys, then Sister Loredana as the 
సిస్టర్ మేడం అన్నమ్మ అండ్ దెన్ సిస్టర్ లరదానా యాజ్ ద ఫోర్త్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ అండ్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ హ్యాపీ ఐ ఆస్ ఎన్క్వైర్డ్ అబౌట్ మేడం త్యాగరాజన్ షీ స్పోక్ వన్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో మేడం అన్నమ్మ గ్లాడ్ ఇస్ ఈస్ నో మోర్ ఐ ఇస్ నో మోర్ అండ్ మేడం అన్నమ్మ ఆల్సో ఐ స్పోక్ టు హర్ దోస్ డేస్ ఐ రిమెంబర్ దెర్ వాజ్ నౌ వెరీ అవర్ బాయ్స్ హాస్టల్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ వన్ థెఫ్ట్ టుక్ ప్లేస్ గోల్డ్ జ్యువెలరీ వాజ్ స్టోలన్ అండ్ వెన్ ఐ వాజ్ దాట్ టైమ్ అసిస్టెంట్ డైరెక్టర్ దట్ టైమ్ కేజ్ వాజ్ రిజిస్టర్డ్ అండ్ వెన్ ఐ వాజ్ ద ప్యారిస్ ఫిస్ట్ ఇన్ ఉద్యావర్ ఇన్ ద ఇయర్ టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెన్ ద కేస్ కేమ్ అప్ టు గివ్ విట్నెస్ ఇన్ ద కోర్ట్ అండ్ దట్ డే ద ప్రిన్సిపల్ దట్ టైమ్ వాజ్ మేడం అన్నమ్మ అండ్ ఐ వాజ్ ద అసిస్టెంట్ డైరెక్టర్ హూ సైన్ ద పేపర్స్ ఆఫ్ ది హాస్టల్ అండ్ దట్ డే వీ హ్యావ్ టు గివ్ ఎ విట్నెస్ ఇన్ ద కోర్ట్ అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు నో నో నన్ను సత్య మాత్ర హేళ్తేనే సత్యమనే హేళ్తేనే బేరే ఏమీ హేళదిల్ల అని తేడీ సో దోస్ వెర్ ద వర్డ్స్ విచ్ అండ్ ఐ రిమెంబర్ అన్నమ్మ వాజ్ ట్రెమ్లింగ్ వాట్ టు సే వాట్ దే విల్ ఆస్క్ దెన్ మేడం డోంట్ వరీ ఐ ఆమ్ ఆల్సో కమింగ్ ఫర్ ద ఫస్ట్ టైమ్ సో యూ ఫాలో వాట్ ఐ సే దెన్ ద జడ్జ్ వాజ్ వెరీ హ్యాపీ విత్ అవర్ స్టేట్మెంట్ బోల్డ్లీ షీ ఆల్సో డిడ్ ద సేమ్ థింగ్ అండ్ వీ కేమ్ బ్యాక్ అండ్ ఐ డో నాట్ నో వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ ద కేజ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ yeah we won but uh, gold we got back i think yes so these are the stories and uh, the great sacrifice of our former principals vice principals and also the faculty and their encouragement for the students to join for this alumni association has brought fruit and today is the achievement and lastly now the association someone mentioned earlier whether will be will there be an opportunity for the golden celebration some of you will be having at least i expect at least the uh, 40th year you call it uh, ruby jubilee for that if i am alive kindly kindly call i will try to come like sister only i will uh, struggle to climb the stair so the dedicated hard work of all presidents starting from the charter president and till today many presidents have rendered their service and today dr divina is heading this alumni association uh, along with her executive team and uh, uh, right hand sister deepa and i'm sure today you will enjoy this day and it is a get together to come to know each other especially when we are in different places we do not have the opportunity to share our experiences to share our joys to share our even sufferings to whom to communicate best is our own batch mates our own peer group and our own alumni association so you are here to share your joys especially to share your achievements and i thank each and every one of you for having come over here keeping aside your job today and come to the college uh, for this program lastly in the it was also mentioned that um, i think sister jashinda mentioned see when alumni association when we ask the students to join they are very reluctant i don't know why it is there is a kind of lethargy but once the association is formed everyone wants to come but earlier they think oh only we have to contribute some money and sometimes when uh, college sends the letters not for money or information about the college then the students the former student don't respond properly neither they a reply a kind reply is also not sent uh, that is a little bit of uh, giving us um, some kind of worry see it is not only money it is the time that we spend together the time that we share with each other sharing our joys that is important and also 
there is a sumptuous meal today and who will pay for it it is the association pays and the association means each one of us will contribute some will contribute their talents some will each one need not contribute the same amount when you are earning when you are doing well remember there are so many who cannot pay maybe and maybe for a celebration some kind of savings are required and if you contribute the alumni association becomes strong and it is not only for a sumptuous meal but why see the trophy and the um, the award that was given today 25000 and why it is considered every year 25000 means we could have given but there is no money that much so that is they have made once in 5 years it should be every year but money may not be the same amount what i am saying is need not be 25 and so on but this year it is given because of the silver jubilee 25 and uh, uh, madam in norna you are lucky but uh, no problem i am just mentioning if it is not for 5 years at least keep every year so that some amount is given to a achiever and that they are recognized in their own alma mater with this i thank the alumni association the executive committee and all of you and wish you all the best wherever you are one thing we are happy that most of the colleges are having uh, the heads of the co- institution or college are from fadamullahs you call anybody from any college uh, for uh, lamp lighting or for uh, as a chief guest for some program they are our students and specially holding positions uh, like principal or vice principal or dean uh, that is a great satisfaction for us that means the college of Pad- um, the padamalla college of nursing students are excelling and they are doing extremely well and therefore they are having this a uh, great position continue and many more may come and take the high position and i wish each and every one of you all the best and congratulations to all of you and also to the alumni association executive committee thank you well when i met father today and when he saw me he said aji tuns game see because i have been meeting for last one month i think we have he comes as a chief guest and i go there to host the event but every time it's indeed a blessing to meet you father and you all must agree that you have a wonderful director who's so humble so down to earth and much more than with a very good sense of humor hardly you can find directors like him so thank you so much father and i think without giving him a momento we cannot proceed with the proceedings over here so i request priscilla de silma to please to come forward who is also the co convener of scientific committee to hand over the bouquet to our director reverend father richard coelho that and we all know that all that starts well and swell it's time to quickly wrap up the stage part over here and proceed to the entertainment part but as we wrap up i said initially atithi devo baba we welcome and we also make sure we thank our guests so now to do a word of thanks to deliver a word of thanks i request dr jennifer de souza to please do come forward a bell is no bell till you ring it and a song is no song till you sing it and gratitude in the heart isn't meant to be inside it has to be expressed and the essence of all beautiful art and all great art is gratitude says frederick nest i on behalf of the alumni association of fadimullah college of nursing deem it my privilege to propose the vote of thanks at the outset i thank the almighty for his abundant blessings and graces showered on us not only just today but for the past 25 years since the inception of the alumni association i sincerely acknowledge my heartfelt thanks to our beloved sister lordana kora our chief guest who with all her pains and struggles has come here today 
to share her joys with us. And we are indeed privileged and honored, sister, to have met you today and to have embraced you today. And that warmth definitely is being shared and flown out among all of us today. Thank you, sister, for sharing your experience with us today. And one more thing I would like to say about Sister Lord Dana. If I am able to speak today here, it is because at one point in my life, I was standing outside St. Joseph's Chapel and Sister was taking my practice for the reading. And I used to stammer and I used to read so fast. I think my batchmates here would remember that. I was a speaker who used to speak so fast, nobody could understand whether I was speaking English or French. But today, because of sister, I have the courage to stand here and also I have reduced my, what you call the space of speaking. Thank you sister for personally for that. My deepest appreciation and gratitude extends to our director, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coelho for his gracious presence, guidance and support in all our every endeavor Today's Father's message, I hope it reached out to all the alumni, even those who are online, to register themselves to increase our number of the Alumni Association. Thank you, Father. Our principal, Sister Jacinta de Souza, is the person responsible for planning, coordinating and guiding every activity of the College of Nursing. I would say, under her able leadership, the College of Nursing and our Alumni Association had reached greater heights. Thank you, Sister, for your tireless efforts. <laughs> sister is a live example to all of us of a dedicated and true service to our Almata. At this juncture, I acknowledge the contribution of our previous principal of College of Nursing and School of Nursing who have toiled in and out to give us the best of classes and clinical exposures, who prayed for us to become better human beings and nurses. From the depth of my heart, I am deeply indebted to Sister, Reverend Sister Andrews, D. Almeida, Sister Rusi Rodriguez, Sister Flora, Sister Nancy Matthias, Ms. Jasmine Vaz, all of you have indeed contributed in molding us, your students, today's alumni, into masterpieces. Thank you, Galore, and may God's blessings always be with you all. I acknowledge with deepest gratitude my thanks to Sister Danya, CNO, and Principal. Father Muller Nursing College, Tumbe, who is also an active alumni executive member. Sister always takes keen interest in all our activities and always encourages us. She is personally my teacher too in first year of fundamentals of nursing. And her dedicated service at that time and after me, the batches, has made us to be eminent nurses today. Thank you, sister. A big thank you to you, sister. I wholeheartedly thank the administrators and assistant administrators of Father Muller Group of Institution for their cooperation and support in all our activities. The liveliness and vigor within us is kept up by being spiritually uplifted. I thank the spiritual gur gurus of this blessed institution for doing their part so well so that more blessings fall on us from above. A word of gratitude to the deans and assistant deans, MC, advisory committee members, chief of research, chief librarian, HR manager and license officer for their support in our every endeavor. Reverend Father Joseph Mat Martis was ever willing to join us and will be raising the toast on this auspicious occasion. I thank you, Father, and I'm sure all Malarians gathered here and who are also with us online will cherish the moment when you raise the toast. Thank you, Father. 
we are sure to have a gala time with a lively entertainment by Father Paul de Souza. I am sure it will bring us nostalgic memories of our energetic and vigorous times here at Father Muller's. Thank you, Father. The invocation dance performed at the beginning was indeed done superbly by our very talented and professional dancers who are none other than our teachers of Father Muller College of Nursing. Hats off to you, dear teachers. I would be failing in my duty if I do not thank the former alumni executive committee members. If we have completed 25 years of existence, it is only because of the strong foundation that was put forth by the efforts of the past executive committee members. A bouquet of thanks to all the past executive committee members. I wholeheartedly thank the president of the alumni association, Dr. Divina Rodriguez, and all executive committee members for their tireless efforts in leaving no stone unturned for the success of this grand celebration. Hats off to all executive committee members. Our wonderful MC, Lavita Menezes, our own alumni, is indeed doing a wonderful job keeping the crowd so vibrant. Thank you, Lavita. My gratitude extends to all the PG students who have volunteered to help in today's program. Thank you, students. I wish you all the best in your journey towards professional nursing. A, a galore of thanks to Mr. Vijay Olive Olivera and Lionel and all the committee band, talented band members. Thank you for your outstanding performance at the beginning. My sincere thanks to Mr. Stanley and the IT department for live streaming of this program and other members of the press and media for coming here today to capture our event. I thank Mrs. Sarojini for her tireless efforts in decorating this venue. A bouquet of thanks extends to all the logistics staff for their services in hall arrangement, catering, photography, maintenance, transport, and housekeeping. Last but not the least, all the alumni gathered here, all our well-wishers, I can see our staff nurses, our uh, seniors, from far and near you have come. Thank you, a big thank you to one and all gathered here. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Jennifer D'Souza. And I'm also indeed happy because actually, my hosting career, many people don't know, took off from FMCon because I got an opportunity here and it bloomed from here. I'm indeed grateful and indebted to our FMCon institution there. And having said that, so we're going to give it a quick wrap to today's uh, wonderful celebration, which is the stage program. Why not capture this moment? We have our dignitaries on stage. I also request our executive committee members to please do come forward because without you, it's incomplete and you are the sole reason we all are here. All the executive com the committee members, please do come forward there. And thank you for doing a great job and wonderful job. They have been preparing for the Silver Jubilee for the past few months. And all the efforts have been paid off now. So we want all the executive committee members coming forward along with our dignitaries there. Yes. And before you all leave, one sec, one sec, we have a surprise. One minute, please wait, hold on. Okay. There's one person over here. We would like to give her a surprise. 
to show our love towards her and for the wonderful things she has done for this silver jubilee celebrations and i think all are looking at me that the person is seated right over there any guesses there's so many of them executive committee members and everyone else now she's a bit confused and bit nervous because she knows her heart is beating fast because she is receiving the surprise gift as none other than dr devina i rodriguez all the executive committee members have planned this for you this is their way of showing this love i request our principal of our alumni executives to please to come forward reverend sister jacinta de souza along with our alumni of fm con this is to you thank you so much dr devina rodriguez thank you once again i think we have to start the celebration now before father can make a move the table can be removed and we can have our celebration cake coming forward any celebration is incomplete without sweetness and we have our celebration cake beautifully set right in front of us and to cut the celebration cake i request our dignitaries and not just one father all the fathers who are present over here also to please join please do come forward and be a part also i request our executive committee members do come forward we want everyone forward executive committee members the priests who are present over here along with the dignitaries there our sisters please do come forward and join and be a part of this cake cutting now all of you might have a question mark who's going to hold the knife because there's only one knife okay so we have with us father joseph martis our chief guest as well and father joseph martis is the one who's going to raise a toast on a special occasion So I think Joseph Mardis, along with our sister there, who's the chief guest, can hold it together. You all do it together, and I cannot leave my favorite director. You hold it together as well. All three can hold it together. Okay, now, as you cut the cake, one minute, sister, because this is not just my celebration, right? This is our celebration. So why not we all give a countdown together? We all can say together. When I say ten, you all say nine. When I say eight, you all say seven. But instead of one, we all say cut the cake together. Can you all do that? Everyone, okay, louder on the loud tone of voice. Let's start the celebration countdown in ten, eight, six, four, two. No, cut the cake. Okay. One minute. You have cut the cake. You need to at least taste the cake, right? Without that, you cannot move from here. Your father as well. Father is having diabetes. No. <laughs> okay, fine. A small bite. Okay, now I think you all also want a bite of this cake. We'll give it to you as well. You can take it from there. A small bite. Give it to each other. Share the celebration. But we don't want all those seated over there to sit idly because this sweetness had to be shared with all the alumni present over here. So I request our team Kamat Caterers to please to come forward and serve you all with cake and wine. Over to team Kamat Caterers.
I think it's already been mentioned who's going to raise a toast today. You all know his name. So let me introduce him as he's going to come forward and raise a toast and address the gathering. We have with us none other than Father Joseph Matas, who's been ordained as priest in 1988, appointed associate priest at Bondale and Bendur, and he has served in this church for two years each, has obtained a doctorate in philosophy at the Catholic University, Paris and France, has a diploma in psychology, was rector at St. Joseph's Seminary for nine years, professor of philosophy, and presently he's a parish priest at Derebail. And his service areas, before that I would like to say, is currently been a priest, presently working as an advocate in the session and district court, Mangalore. From 2015 to 2017, for two years, he served as an assistant parish priest at Rosario Cathedral, Mangalore. From 2017 to 18, for a period of one year, served as assistant director of Pastoral Institute, Bajshadi, Mangalore. At the same time, he was also the rector for the college ongoing seminarians. And 2018 to 2022, along with the LLB study, served as parish priest of Holy Cross Church, Bellare Sulia. Now that was indeed a lengthy welcome. And I think that Father is all set to raise his toes. You can please hold your glass and please do come forward. I've been eagerly waiting to listen to you. Yes, you all will get your wine glasses soon. We are not going to wait there. Eh? So I request... A Toastmaster of the day, Father Joseph Martis, to please start with the proceedings. And if your hands are empty, you can also join me. And by clapping, you can welcome the Toastmaster there, Father Joseph Martis. Well, I have to look at the glass now and then because the magician is behind me. At any moment, the glass might disappear. So I have told him, please, till I finish my toast, see that my glass doesn't disappear. Well, good morning to each and every one of you, beginning with the Father Richard, the director of the hospital, Sister Lordana, Sister Jacinta, Danya, forget me, forgive me if I do not call out other names. I'm rather familiar with these names and persons and the August gathering here. Like all of you, I guess, in the audience, uh, except for the persons on the days, are feeling little cold. You know, a little fear, cold because of the AC. And I was also feeling the same till the person came at the end for a word of thanks and said, uh, we are going to have a fantastic toast and uh, everybody here in the hall as well as uh, in the overseas are going to observe you and hear you. I started sweating. Oh my God, I said, uh, this is going to be terrible. Anyway, it's an uh, alumni association and I was wondering what, what was the reason I was called here for the Alumni Association of the Nurses? One thing I was confirmed that I can be qualified as an alumni patient. I've been in this hospital, hospitalized years ago for an accident, this one for a surgery and off late for COVID-19. Well, that apart, first of all, I'm extremely happy and honored to be here to be proposing the toast for the 25 years of the Alumni Association of the Nurses. I feel it was a very meaningful, colorful celebration for the Muller's nursing family coming together, past and the present, exchanging moments of love, exchanging moments of happiness, exchanging moments of our successes and our failures. My dear friends, at the very outset, I wish to thank all the nurses, past and the present, working in Mullahs and now working in different parts, trained in Mullahs. I would like to thank you in the name of humanity, particularly the suffering humanity, for your services to the ailing and the suffering humanity. I would like to thank you for your patience. Thank you for standing and walking in the corridors and the hospital rooms morning till evening, in spite of aching legs. Thanking, thank you, thanking you so much for standing so long in the operation theatres. Thank you for igniting hope in the most hopeless situations in the life of so many patients. Thank you for bringing a smile in a child ridden with pain and misery. 
thank you thank you for saying good morning and good evening every day to someone lonely forlorn and sometimes even forgotten thank you for traveling sometimes changing two three buses or taking up an auto rick to reach on time to join the duty thank you for being not just a nurse many times a sister sometimes a friend sometimes even a mother a good neighbor going beyond counting the cost or counting the duty hours yes you all deserve a wonderful mighty thank you and i am extremely happy today to say thank you to all of you for the wonderful service you have been doing and you are doing to the suffering humanity one of the richest legacies and contributions of father mulla hospital is the nursing care thanks to your service you have made this hospital rich in service noble in character and splendid in human welfare for the mulla hospital is a household name for healing and for comfort a home of hope and solace to the hopeless situations a nest for people of all castes and colors it's a pride of mangalore city and your presence and your service in this home of healing has surely gone a long long way no doubt about it whatever i said so far is not just a litany of empty adjectives but a felt experience i was detected with covid-19 last january more than the virus what trembled in me is the fear of loneliness oh my god i will be alone abandoned by all almost an untouchable what a human misery i was frightened i was nervous but i was shocked and rather flabbergasted when i was admitted here the nurses came to my room and treated me without any fear or fury i told them look i am a covid patient perhaps you are ignorant about it they laughed at me and said father we know about it don't worry we are a fighting soldiers you will be fine very soon you will see that you will be out of the bed and out of the hospital very soon and thus it was everything was so beautiful i was really happy that they never considered even in a single day that i was a covid patient they acted with me as though i was a very normal patient so this is father mullas this is the splendid service of father mullas this is the uniqueness of father mullas i wish to place on record the opportunities and encouragement given by the administration here beginning with the director of the richard as he said we joined the seminary on the same day we were ordained on the same day i was little taller he was a little short so short that you know we joined up to the 10th standard and we all came with the shorts you know those days pants were unavailable in the villages all of us were hailing from village and we didn't have pants so we had to come with shorts so looking at richard everybody thought that he was a primary student because he was very short i was a little taller so we had a lot of fun and frolic in the seminary and uh, i'm extremely happy that he has been directing this institution and taking it to great heights thanks to his leadership and collaboration the institute is uh, seeing wonderful things and particularly in the nursing service nursing department college of nursing lot of you know upgrading has been taking place richard personally i would like to congratulate you appreciate your service not only just father richard along with him there are other fathers here they were sitting along and uh, suddenly i closed my eyes and opened they disappeared most probably they are so used to these sort of celebrations so natural all they must have been felt feeling cold or they must be running for other duties so along with father richard there are other past and present young priests most of them my students and not only priests there are so many beginning with sister jacinta and a team of people here doctors nurses so many of you collaborating together so many congratulations to all of you for doing wonderful human service to the needy and the sick humanity old memories are always exciting and needed as an alumni association they will keep you bonded together they will keep you together with yourself and together with the institution 
the umbilical cord of this great institution cannot be cut off you will remember your past jokes you will remember when you meet no past jokes are there then the mischiefs that you did how you stole came in the night without the notice of sister lordana or i don't know who else who was the nursing superior how you did not study till the end for the exams varieties of mischiefs are there i think uh, you know you can keep a book and you can write you know there will be plenty of very interesting stories they keep us going that's beautiful that's the meaning of an alumni association as father richard said it's not just little contribution of some money but it's coming together and you will have plenty of stories to tell i had gone to new york some years ago and or different parts of uh, i have gone to different parts of the world and wherever i went to america i met a big bunch of nurses and most of them trained at father mullas and they were so happy and joyful we are students of father mullas when i had gone to london i found once again a big bunch of nurses all of them very happy very joyful saying that we are the students of father mullas and they come together then they share of course have a family meal together this is the beauty of this house of nursing or this college of nursing as we call it today we come together we share and i think we need to continue 25 years of existence of this alumni i need to say that it's a beautiful thing you need to continue mount higher and higher and you will certainly benefit from it not just coming but talking you know reflecting together sharing your problems sharing your joys and all of us sail in the same boat and more or less the situations are same so i feel this is something beautiful you need to continue all of us make a difference in the life of a patient i am sure you have heard this little story perhaps repeated umpteen number of times i don't mind repeating it again with that i would like to conclude there was a little boy who was walking on the shore and he found lot of starfish being thrown out by the sea and the birds of the air would come and carry those starfish he was feeling uneasy sorry for this starfish so he started gathering them and putting them back into the sea but the sea as usual puts them away from the sea to the shore his dad was looking at the whole story and he came to the son and said son what are you doing dad he said i am trying to save this starfish it's a futile exercise said dad every time you do it the sea will throw them out and the birds will come and you can't save all of them that i know that i cannot save all of them but perhaps i can save one of them and that makes a big difference this is the mission of being a nurse doing small things but small things count the present pope of francis said several times small is big in the world big is big but in the service in humanity small is big and for a nurse a small thing can be a big thing a little smile a little word a little comforting statement a little hope small things but they count a lot last i would like to conclude with a little quote i found this quote beautiful a nurse is one who opens the eyes of a newborn and gently closes the eyes of a dying person a nurse is the one who opens the eyes of a newborn and gently closes the eyes of a dying man it is indeed a high blessing to be the first and the last witness the beginning and the end of life that is the nurse one who begins and helps somebody to begin a life helps somebody accompanies somebody to end his life this noble profession you have been doing in this house and now well play perhaps in different places even overseas my congratulations best wishes god's abundant blessings to each and every one of you i hope my glass is still there yeah, yeah. the magician has disappeared glass is here so i will i ask you all of you to raise your glasses and toast to all the alumni association heads the director all present here congratulations god bless you good luck in your mission thank you check thank you so much father joseph dev for those wonderful words and how can you drink from your glass without saying cheers can you do that <laughs> okay so i request once again to raise your glasses there well congratulations to all of you for completing 25 glorious years here's raising toast for many more successful and happy and healthy years together what do you need to say 
Yes, let's do this one once lovely and once nicely. Three, two, one. Cheers. And now you can have from your glasses. Yes, you can have from your glasses. The glasses will, have, will be collected shortly. But I'm sure it's time. And we don't want you to wait any longer. And that's the reason we have our team Kamath Caterers. We're going to serve you all with starters. And we'll have some soft drinks as well to accompany them. So they already started the service. And at the same time, do you all want some entertainment? No celebration is complete without entertainment. Some fun. Do you all want some entertainment? Looking forward to it, then you have to make sure to entertain, you all have to take part in this. Only then we'll be able to entertain you all. And now, today, to give a kick start, we are going to start with a lovely game. And if I'm not wrong, amongst all the alumni, we have so many of them who are talented and gifted singers. If not, at least passionate singers there. And this game is dedicated to them. So what you need to do, I'm going to read out the lyrics of a Hindi song in English. So you need to just guess which is that song. If you know the answer, you can raise your hand. So can I have one more mic for that? Cordless mic? You just raise your hand wherever you are. I'll come over there and hand it over to you and we all can join and sing it along. It's going to be very easy, don't worry. One more mic. Okay, you know the answer, you raise your hand and not necessarily only one person, you all can sing it together but the one who raises hand will get a point and later you stand a chance to win a prize as well, okay. Today you heard that many of them got cash prizes so I don't know what they're going to give it to you but you have some exciting prizes as well if you take part in this game. So don't miss this opportunity. So can we all start a English game? We'll start. Raise your hand. Don't worry even if you're sitting there at the back. You just need to raise your hand. I'm going to come over there. The first song is here. It's an easy one. Okay, I'm sure you'll be able to guess. No new numbers. All our old numbers. Black, black goggles on a white, white face. Quickly translate and guess the song. Yes, you all are saying the song, but there is one person who raised hand. Few who raised hand, but you'll get a chance first. Let's see. <laughs> no, no. Okay, <laughs> a little bit. Okay, over here. Stan and you all can sing together. That's okay. It's about celebration, right? Let's sing together. The song was right. Song was right. You want to take a try? No, she gets the right one. <laughs> okay, I thought you knew it. Now, as for the condition, I can't give the prize so easily, right? You have to sing at least two lines together, two, three lines together. You all can join her. Join her and sing it along. Come on, together. Gore, gore, mukde pe khala khala chashma. Ah, din tada, din tada. Gore, gore, mukde pe khala khala chashma. Toba kuda hai kya? Kub hai karishma. Kub hai karishma. Gore, gore, mukde pe khala khala chashma. And continue. Din tada, din tada. Okay. Thank you for that. Now I'm giving a point to you. But no one from this table can take a part. Okay. We have to give chance to someone else. Now proceeding with the next track. Next track. I'm going to start over here. So raise your hand. Okay. Raise your hand. Make some noise if you know the answer. Okay, the song is here. When I saw this girl, she seemed to me like a blooming rose. When I saw this girl, translate quickly. She seemed to me like a blooming rose. Take a it's an easy one now. Come on. You just need to translate it. When I saw this girl, translate quickly. She knows it. I can't give you a chance, right? I have to give a chance to somebody else as well. Right? Before everybody else, Someone sitting over there at the end, raise their hand. Oh, you got it now, but you're too late. I already have someone who's ready to take a guess. Can you please slightly come forward? I think the mic is going to echo. Come forward, yeah, you both. Come forward, slightly. 
I'm sorry, I can't get my mic there. <laughs> You're not going to join? Don't leave her now. Come. एक लड़की को देखा तो ऐसा लगा जैसे खिलता गुलाब खिलता गुलाब जैसे हु नोज द सॉन्ग ना कैन जॉइन समन नोज द सॉन्ग यू नो द सॉन्ग यू नो द लरेक्स कम एंड जॉय कम एंड जॉय नो सो की डोंट हेजिटेट इट्स आर डे इट्स टाइम टू सेलिब्रेट राइट कम एंड सिंग यू आर गेटिंग अ पॉइंट डोंट मिस यू आर गेटिंग अ पॉइंट बट वी आर गोइंग टू सिंग You don't know. Make a try. You'll sing. Yes. yes. We have a shiny mom. <laughs> okay. Ho, ek ladki ko dekha to aisa laga. Jaise khilta gulab, jaise shayar ka khwab, jaise ujli ki ran, jaise. वन में हिरन जैसे चांद जैसे मंदिर में हो एक जलता दिया हो एक लड़की को देखा तो ऐसा लगा थैंक यू ऑल कैन क्लैप फॉर शाइनी मैम आई थैंक गुड जॉब एंड यू गेटिंग अ पॉइंट ओके We'll get us. Sorry, surely, ma'am. I missed on the name. It's been a long time. Okay. Next one. Next one. Raise your hand if you know the answer for this. Now, this is super easy. You can't say no to this. You all are eating now, so let's see who'll be able to guess. I was passing by. I was eating bell puri. What should I do if she gets a chili? <laughs> okay. Now, you all. When I mentioned I was passing by. This table, raise their hand now. Can you come forward? Who's gonna sing? Two, three of them, come forward. Let's sing together. You all raise your hand. Come, come together. Come forward together. We'll all sing this together. Come. The first one to raise hand. That's the reason I'm giving this mic to you. Come here. Come on. Stay seja rahata da na 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 na. मैं तो बेल पूरी का रहा था मैं तो लड़की गुमा रहा था रस्ते से जा रहा था लड़की गुमा रहा था बेल पूरी का रहा था उसको मिर्ची लगी तो मैं क्या करूं उसको मिर्ची लगी तो मैं क्या करूं नाउ आई विल नॉट गिव यू मिर्ची ओके आई विल गिव यू अ प्राइस लेटर बट यू विल गेट अ पॉइंट एज़ वेल यू कैन बी सीटेड Thank you so much. Now I have one last one before the finale round. Let's see who's going to take the guess for this one last one before the final round. We're going to decide who's going to be the winner. Okay, this is again to sing might be complicated but easy to guess. Okay, Chandu's uncle made Chandu's auntie have some chutney in a silver spoon. They raised their hand. Difficult to sing, but very easy to guess. Trust me. Guess the song. We'll sing, to sing it together then. Sing. Try. At least tell me what is that song. Your mic is on. Ah, Chandu ki cha cha ne Chandu ki cha chiko cha ne ne cham jese chetti ne chetta. Do you know? Can you all sing? This is no. We'll sing it together. Okay, three, two, two one. one, go. Chandu ki cha cha ne, Chandu ki cha chhe go. Chandu ki cha chhe se chhe ni chhe tai. Now, all those who gave me the right answer, please come forward. One will take away the prize. One will take away the prize. All those gave me the right answer, quickly come forward. Come, come, come. You can come with a the partner there. You can come with a the partner there. Don't worry about that. One will get an opportunity to take away a prize. Let's see who's that gonna be. All this game right answer over there. This table, come. This is the last one, last one. Or you can be standing there. Don't worry, it's okay. You'll take a lot of time. No, come forward. Table number one. We have table number two, and table number three, along with Shirley, ma'am, who was your partner, who gets the song, and over there, table number four. Okay, stand there. Be standing there. 
If you know the answer, raise your hand. Only then you can take away a prize. The first one to raise hand, cheating is allowed. Take some help. Okay, take some help from your friends. Doesn't matter. But the one who is going to raise hand first is going to take away the prize. Let's do this. The bangles say it. The bracelets say it. That I have become yours beloved. The bangles say it. The bracelets say it. You raise your hand. Do you know the answer? Yes. Now sing it along and take away the prize. Congratulations. So let's sing it along now. Bole chuniya, bole kangana, hai me ho gayi, teri sajna, teri vinji nahi, ye lag tha me to mar gayi na. Le cha le cha, kya le cha? To prize le cha le cha, to prize le cha le cha. Now whom should I give this prize to? You are the one, right? Who gets the right answer? Name. Yes, Lenita, congratulations. You'll get the prize later. You can be seated there. And now, I think we are all set for the next part of the entertainment. Magic show is ready. It will take some time. It will take some time. But we have, they don't call themselves as professional singers, but I'm sure they're better than professional singers. I've heard them rehearse and practice there. That's none other than a Three singers who are all set to entertain us. Uh, I think I shouldn't be calling out their names. You have to see for yourself who are they. Okay, I know Sonia is going to come. I don't know who's going to accompany Sonia. Please come forward. Who's going to sing? Come forward. And Sonia is an amazing singer. I've heard her. Amazing performer. Very graceful. Come forward. Come forward. I'm going to hand over. You want these mics? I'm going to hand over these mics to you. One more person who needs a mic. Okay, I'll give it to you. Hello. Fine. Hello. Check. Check. Hello. Check. Check. <laughs> Senorita, 
सुनो सुनो सरिता कहते हैं हम क्या कमा पोद्रे इंटरप्रेटर el sentido de las palabras que me dedica pero el calor de tu mirada me sentí como la más bella señorita mi gajone mi gajose aquí hermano que da esta gente señorita mi chahati mohabbati sari dunia mein ek hi zuba hai señorita मुझसे अब नजर न फेरो आओ पास तुम मेरे मुझको बाह में तुम घेरो समझी ना सैनोरिटा चाह के दो पल भी मिल पाए दुनिया में भी हम है क्या दो पल को तो आओ खो जाए बोले हम हो तब हम है क्या Check. Thank you so much. Did you all like it? Yes, better than professionals. I told you, right? They all are thorough entertainers, and they had a special tracks for you all. And I think Father Paul is ready. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. I'll have one sport game, one quick sport game. Then two more minutes. in our nursing sector we have hardly few male nurses right so i have to do complete justice for them there's a present over here now even if you're not nursing uh, from nursing background that's totally fine but this lucky game is for all the men who are present over here okay so we have to make sure we acknowledge your presence as well okay so this one is for you for all the men who are present over it's a lucky game you don't have to come forward you can play wherever you're seated and take your the prize all that you need to do you need to count how many buttons you have in your shirt and pant you have maximum buttons you're going to take your prize today that's as easy as that padra pachana ka low board la most of buttons <laughs> apart from priest over there rest of you just count how many buttons you have maximum buttons on your shirt and pant this is to all the men who are present over here lucky game just count you have on your sleeves you have on your shoulders you have inside your shirt you have on your pant as well pockets everywhere just count give me a number take your prize very easy see i'm doing complete justice for your present today zaling <laughs> counting you're done 10 you counted short and pant both ha huh? 10 only 10 <laughs> okay fine you don't require any help in counting no a lady is already to help <laughs> okay fine you did not count please count properly please count over oh, the boys how many buttons there's so many boys 10 similar brand i think 10 10 buttons <laughs> over there 12 one person with 12 you might have more than that count properly it's a quick quick prize quick prize come on till a magician is going to be ready there quick prize count properly shirt and pant both i mentioned both don't forget anybody else more than that and uh, now he found one more button there 11 he's going to add on 13 13 in buttons Shirt and pant only. Then we have thirteen. One with thirteen. Okay. Finally, yes, sir. How many? He's gonna beat you all. He has fifteen buttons. The one who said he doesn't know how many buttons he has. He was waiting for the suspense to be revealed. Fifteen buttons. <laughs> one five. I have to declare the prize because I don't have time. Done with counting? No. Five, four, three, two, one. Sorry, so sorry. We don't have much time, right? And you have fifteen. Now you have to show me all fifteen buttons. Or else I can't give you a prize. <laughs> Just like that, right? <laughs> okay, you have to show me all fifteen buttons. You said you have fifteen. Ah, uh, fourteen, fifteen doesn't matter. You just tell me where it is. I'll assume <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Now show me rest of the buttons. We can start counting. One, two, and three. Four, five, and six. Yes. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, thirteen and fourteen. <laughs> and there's a swear button. Fifteen. <laughs> and what about your pant? Sixteen. Seventeen. He said fifteen. Ah, see, ladies have some suggestions for you. You have two more buttons behind. He couldn't see that. <laughs> They're helping you out. 
Hena, hey, I don't know how many more buttons are hidden, but totally 18 he has revealed it to us, okay? So does it deserve a prize? It does deserve a prize. What's your name, sir? Yes, Mr. Sunil, congratulations to you. Can you clap? Congratulations. And Father Paul is ready? Or the song is ready? We have a song. Father Father Paul keeps disappearing. <laughs> okay, a magician will get ready soon. No problem. You can come with the song. Because they have all songs prepared, so I don't want to waste time.
Well, thank you so much. So we had Sonia, Apurva, and Clarita doing all the singing there. Thank you. You did a fantastic job. And before I can call forward a magician, I'm sure. Do you love magic? Do you enjoy seeing magic? Okay, but Paul de Souza loves doing magic. And he is all set. The father is all set. And before we can invite him to show us some magic tricks, I would like to introduce him as a self-trained magician who has performed more than 100 shows, schools, and colleges, and churches, and special schools, orphanages, camps, small as well as bigger gatherings as well. He has shows related to the gatherings usually, and normally the special thing, because he's a father, right? So he has to make sure the show is based on few moral values, and there is some Bible teaching as well, hidden teaching as well, which is such a noble cause. So as we're going to call a magician of the day forward, we would love to hand over this bouquet as a small moment of gratitude as a token of love for this. I request Dr. Devena Rodriguez to please do come forward, do the honors and hand over the bouquet to a magician there. Father Paul de Souza, make sure he doesn't make you disappear with that wine. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. So Father is all set. Are you all ready? Yeah. Okay, so let's start some magic tricks there. Over to you, Father. Thank you, dear, for your beautiful introduction. Dear friends, I'm happy to be here and take part in this gathering. And also, I wish every one of you gathered here a happy day as well as, and also, I invite you for this magic show. And as Father Richard rightly said in, the, in his uh, presidential speech that he was there in our parish and also I was there as a little boy uh, and, oh, and I am today a bit nervous because to stand before him and also Father Martis is here and then he was the rector for me in the seminary taking permission Fathers, I go ahead now I call upon Father Richard Puello, kindly come forward to light the candle. Nothing else. Please come forward. Kindly clap and let's inaugurate this magic show. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Dear friends, the candle is already lit and we know that brightness, the light which shows the way to each one of us and Jesus also who says I am the light of the world. So this light also resembles the sacrifice of your parents that today's this gathering because of them and also because of their dedication and sacrifice that we have reached to this stage. Let's thank our parents first of all and also let's thank our teaching and all the non-teaching staff members so that because of their hard work, the day that we are enjoying and celebrating. So this light. And the fruit of this service of theirs and also the uh, service of your teaching and non-teaching staff members that we are here and we are enjoying the day having or holding so many responsibilities just because of their sacrifice. So we are now enjoying the life like this beautiful plant with so many flowers. Thank you, thank you so much.
dear friends i am having one sheet of paper and i am going to draw a bird does it look like bird yes Don't allow it to go out of the hall kindly. If you get it, kindly get it to the stage. Your friends you can see a sheet of paper and i'm going to make a folder like how these street vendors they pack up for various needs to pack up the vegetables as well as many other things my dog is back <laughs> yes i have see i have an cap magical cap so when it opens I request one of you kindly come forward. I request one of you kindly come forward. She can come afterwards. Any one of you among the group. I have one queen queen art in so such a big 
thing that i have brought before you because it could see every one of you so now i am going to fold it I request other two kindly come forward please sister you are ready come come forward kindly don't waste time any one of you one more can join one more can join yeah please i have one container here and in the container you will find one ball so and also one more container you can see it is transparent you can see my hand right you can see my hand yeah so you come this way sister just hold on like now what you have to do is you have to blow on this box okay you have to blow yeah ready one two yeah 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 okay ready one two three stop not sufficient still force you out to pull okay yeah one two three ah! it's a special cane magical cane so just see and enjoy I have one bag and the bag which gives so many gifts so every one of us enjoy when the gifts are offered is it not yes so there is an empty bag once again i repeat it is a transparent bag you can see my hand you can see my hand
थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच many time we are like this empty vessel empty vessel we think that others are having so many talents they can enjoy their life but i am not some are good in studies some are good in dancing some are good uh, like sonia sikwera ma like singing and all okay one or the other talents are having but i am having nothing but this magic magic which encourages that we can if we try well we can do everything and we can nurture our own talents and we can light them out okay kindly watch the empty cap which is kept and the the talents what is there within us it will come out Sorry don't feel bad that I threw the chocolates because I can't reach you I can't reach you everyone Thank you I request from this side can the two girls come forward box i have a small dice and having six numbers naturally okay so what you have to do is you select one of the numbers among these and just keep a pool like this okay don't first select and you just you keep so that the selected number will not come on this on the upside so you have to select and accordingly you have to fix it if it is 3 you have to fix like this okay then and it all by the way what's your name ha huh? lashmita adlin okay you have taken one number Ashmita and Adlin who is your favorite hero No you don't have any hero your favorite one No and you you two don't have what's your favorite flower Rose rose and The number is number number 3 no Number four and color is red, right? You, I think you don't remember the color. You you have seen only the number. Yeah, let me check. Number four and color is red. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. You can see the floating table, the table which floats in the air. when the magician 
magician commands and it acts thank you thank you so much here before you three ropes okay you are familiar with ropes because we use daily either thread or rope or any okay you can see the different sizes of the rope one is too tall and is medium and one more is short one kindly wash my hand my palm okay there is nothing hidden inside at times people's audience they say the things are pulled from from the uh coat from the coat or from inside so see you will find one kerchief it's so very old okay now see my palm and i am going to take a fist now okay and slowly the kerchief which is there in my hand goes inside and i tighten the fist and magic trick still continues i have salt now again the salt the salt poured inside i'm going to tighten the fist again down i'm going to pour water thank you thank you so much I request to boys 
the young men too please come forward are they please come on the stage yeah welcome what's your name royden and you din yeah see when i when i say you have to turn back okay then you have to Okay, I have one bag here. Okay, my dhau, my favorite dhau is in my hand. any again i request to ladies come forward no x no, please i am not going to remove any egg okay please the card magic card magic nothing nothing else yeah you come come yes come come okay I have one set of deck of cards here. See, you can see all the cards. I am not close off and just doing like that. Okay? See, entire set is open. You can see all the cards. Okay. Now what you have to do is when the cards are flipped like this, you have to keep your finger, okay, in between. Don't remove it. to the audience okay yes card is ready yeah place it back to the same place the same place it is kept back again i am going to place the set deck match is not over okay the card first it was in the middle of the deck okay without without mixing up the card came down at the bottom okay now the same card will appear on the top do you want to see no yes is this the card no 
must be no my goodness the cardinal is no it must be Thank you so much. I got one newspaper dated February 20. So in this paper we see the news. This is Kannada Udayavani Sudina Hani Hani Rattaku Matadana da Uttara. mini vidhana sauda tyajya terau you can see the news the headlines of february 20th paper i'm going to tear the entire set of this paper ಸುದಿನ ಹನಿ ಹನಿಕ ರಕ್ತಕ್ಕೂ ಮತದಾನದ ಉತ್ತರ ಬೇಸಿಗೆ ಬಿಸಿಗೆ ತಂಪೆರೆದ ಶುದ್ಧ ನೀರಿನ ಘಟಕ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಎಪಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ is one of the risky trick please don't try
I have one deck of cards and I'm going to show you the card which is the inside okay k diamond I request one of you to please come on the dice come on the stage kindly please no yes please so I'm going to close the deck and the container which is which is there in my hand kindly check is there anything yes kindly stand there so I'm going to place it back in the container kindly check is it no the entire deck is disappeared thank you thank you so much there is two ropes in my hand one is orange and another one is yellow so these two ropes which resemble a boy and a girl who fell in love so they got on a fine day they got married and this is the bond of matrimony which brought them together so they are united now they are both of them are united they are strong they are strong the bond is unbreakable they are strong but the knot which disturbs days pass there is misunderstanding tension allegations so this this knot which disturbs there is an obstacle in their life when there is forgiveness automatically the obstacle the knot is pushed to the corner and the and the couple they are united with no obstacle no there is difference there is no uh, tension or anxiety or misunderstanding so the entire knot is pushed to the corner thank you thank you so much forgive and you will live happily thank you i see so many the female category is dominating the men category is it not so i request to girls or ladies any one of you please come forward one or two yeah please there is a necklace in my hand what you have to do is just cut the thread yes yeah cut the thread Okay stand there Okay now the the beads are fallen and they are collected in this glass okay now the thread is here which is already cut and separated from the beads now i am going to follow this this thread and also the entire glass not glass the beads which are there in the glass
थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच Kindly watch. There is a cane in my hand. I place it, place it in a pot. And just now we had one cane. From the cane we got a uh, was. Okay, now just watch. Ready? One, two, three. I request those who are there in the front row and come forward. One or two. Yes. Yo, there is a and i am going to flip yeah okay okay let's jump in okay show to the audience the same card came on the top now again i turn it upside down I have one set of magic glasses. This is the the tallest and the biggest glass among the among all the glasses now.
the glass is full without wasting or pouring it out see the size of the glass the last one the tiny glass that i have here if you have forgiving heart and loving heart wherever you are in where in which is, which are the places you can enjoy your life like this beautiful glasses again i go back to the first glass and this tiny glass and this is the magic you will enjoy now ready 1 If you want to learn magic kindly contact me yeah but i am self trained magician i did not go to anyone to learn magic never during my seminar days i started one by one preparing my own magic items magic tricks i i learned i did not go to axn to watch the magic shows no by my own i prepared one or two items like rope magic and all from there i developed my uh, interest towards magic then i of course now i am contact with the, some other magician just for the items but not to learn from him just for the items because the stage should be colorful so then the audience will enjoy there is a reason so this book also gives uh, some of the tricks and gives us to learn so the first page the history of magic how the magic the magic came to light Thank you thank you so much One more one more tricky uh, sorry risky trick what is the time now time left no can i continue or stop it okay just for 10 to 15 minutes okay i have five blades here okay super max five blades here risky trick blade 1 number 
this is a magic pot the more you dig water the more you will get so unending pot it continually it uh, it pours water it continues at the end once again i'll show you the same magic how much water is still remaining since there is lack of time i am going to wind up with two tricks i request two of you come forward please fast yeah yes so i have one box filled with tissue papers okay so first what i do likewise you have to do okay Ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. Start music. and 5 silver jubilee 25 thank you so much for this great opportunity that i got you on this stage i thank all the organizers and also the committee of alumni association thank you thank you one and all thank you so much well thank you so much father we indeed love that magic and all the tricks were so good i think we'll continue the program later because we have something to be handed over to him but few are waiting for the food counters to be open before the counters open we are going to say a small grace this is getting late the counters will be open then we have only 2 to 3 minutes of function over here then we are going to wind it up i request uh, sister sister danya to please do come forward i request all of you to please stand for grace before meals
the name of the father and of the son and the holy spirit amen try and god we thank and praise you for all your blessings and graces thank you for this day thank you for all the people who came into our life thank you for all the people whom we encountered at this moment lord we surrender to you the food which is prepared may your blessings rest upon each one of us may the people who prepared this food be blessed by you may every one of us each one of us who are going to share this meal remain always united and be grateful to god for all that you are doing to us we make this prayer to the great love you have towards each one of us amen let us say together our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil have a good appetite bon appetite to you as well sister thank you so much you all can be seated those are getting late can please proceed towards the food counter the food counters are set to the extreme end of this hall you can see that towards the exit there there are food counters which are set you have non veg as well as veg counter those are getting late can please proceed we would definitely like to thank father Paul de Souza for the lovely matching in spite of his busy schedule he has made sure he's taken some time out to entertain us he's taken a special leave to be here amongst you all so he deserves this memento and for this i request dr devina is here dr devina is here she can yeah please hand over the memento to father paul de souza a magician there thank you so much and also we had two games we'll be handing over the prizes so we had one clarita over there you can please come forward and mr sunil i think is at the food counter <laughs> okay we'll give it to him later no worries clarita please come forward and receive your prize congratulations to you mr sunil is here please come forward and receive your prize as well so lord is enough to please hand over the prize just to hand over the prize to them just give it to them sister okay so with that it's a wrap those who want to dance can come forward once you're done with your food the dance floor is open those who are leave those who don't have anywhere to go please come on the dance floor the dance floor is open and also we have one singing left i think from sonia and team you all can continue with the singing there you all can come back be seated and enjoy your food don't be standing at the counters there once you have your plate in hand you can come back be seated and enjoy your food there and also one more important announcement there there has been a book which has been placed like a register which is in play right in the center you can write your best wishes your compliments your messages over there there's a book that has been placed right in the center there before you leave before you make a move make sure to jot down your wishes you can share a few memories there you can share your thoughts there the book is right in the center here of this hall it has been placed please drop down your messages there so we'll carry on with the singing sonia can please come forward
Don't you give up? Na na na. I won't give up. Na na na. Let me love you. Let me love you. है आंखों भी 